Today I'm here to, talking with DJ Honor about Bandage Your Heart. What What is the meaning of Bandage Your Heart and why did you start it? It started off as something small, but now it got bigger because, you know, people found it and wanted to, like, put money in me and stuff. So now I'm doing rallies and I'm doing, like, little dances, you know, promote, you know, bullying and how to end it. That's very good, but what motivated you? What inspired you to do that? My mother motivated me, especially my mother. Um, I didn't tell her I was being bullied until high school. So I, that's what messed up. And yeah, she's my motivation completely. She told me, she helped me come out and she helped me start my bullying campaign. How did bully affect, bullying affect you? The teasing, the pushing, the grabbing, it got to me and it affected me because I will always go home crying, but my mother didn't know the you know the meaning why I was coming home and crying it affected me as a person I wasn't the person to you know talk to people and I wasn't the person that was out there you get it and yeah it hurt me it really hurt me I was bullied because of my weight and I was bullied because I had lesbian parents parents the students didn't understand um two women being together so they you know teased me on that but I got through it and I'm here today so I'm blessed why didn't you tell an adult student like when you were in elementary school? Well, in middle school, I felt very lonely. Elementary school, people didn't take me seriously. They didn't, you know, they didn't just care. But I didn't tell my parents because we wasn't that close. I didn't tell teachers because they act like they didn't care. And I didn't have friends, so I didn't have anyone to talk to. Oh, I'm London Hyman, and I'm here with Tanya from BYH. I got a question. How did you feel about when you heard that Deanna was first getting bullied? Um, it disturbed me. Um, it made me irritated and angry, I think, because my daughter knows that I'm one of those ones that will go off if I hear somebody mess with my child. But um, it kind of, like, threw me off. But, you know, that's why I helped her create BYH. Well, bandage your heart. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I have another question. Why do? Why did you think that she held it in? Why didn't, don't you think that she should have told you sooner? I think because maybe she was scared and she might have not wanted to be a snitch. Um, but I'm glad that she came out, though. I, aren't you very proud of Deanna and her, her motivating and her experiments from like from students and teachers and everybody? I love it. Um, I'm glad that you know Deanna, me and Deanna created the program. Um, I love the way how kids um, gravitate to her. I love how the kids um, communicate. They call her. She talks and I'm telling them about their problems. And I just really think it's like really really cool that she can have that type of connection with the kids and really, you know, help them or when, help them when they need her. Make sure that you know that if you're ever being bullied, don't feel scared, intimidated by anyone. Go tell. Make sure that you tell. Make sure that you be more expressive because it will crash you. It will break you down by just holding stuff in. Um, I just want everybody to know that I love y'all. Um, you are great. You are wonderful. And you deserve the best beyond measure. And do not allow anyone to tell you otherwise. Every year, 3.2 million students are victims of bullying. I think instead of mentally or physically bullying somebody, you should talk it out. Approximately 160,000 teens skip school every year because of bullying. When you're a bystander and you see somebody getting bullied, you should help them out tell a close adult or teacher. Did you know bullying can lead to suicide? To reduce suicides, we should stop bullying people.